They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But know what else keeps the doctor away? Vitamin D. People say that vitamin D is one, if not the most important vitamin we should pay attention to. Vitamin D is so important, and the reason many researchers run studies around it is that it is in every single cell in our body. We have 229 different genes which are directly influenced by vitamin D, which relates to 25,000 different functions in our body. It is probably the most important vitamin as many of the population are deficient in it. Did you know that? Happy Body Care Day everyone and welcome back to the Body Care Guru channel. Today, we're going to go over the 5 reasons why vitamin D is a must, including very interesting insights from a new Harvard research everyone should know. In this video, we will also discuss why vitamin D has a key role in autoimmune diseases, especially as more than 50 million people only in the US have autoimmune diseases. Watch until the end to have a full and better understanding of why this vitamin is so important. The first reason is that vitamin D improves your dental health. We were all told in the last meeting with our dentist we should make sure to brush our teeth and floss more. But what if having bleeding gums and great dental health weren't controlled only by brushing your teeth regularly on a daily basis? We all know people who brush their teeth regularly but still have dental issues. Have you ever wondered how that is possible? Maybe there is something else here no one told us about. Luckily, there is something else. Let me simply explain it. Let's take the two most common dental issues people usually have, bleeding gums and tooth decay. Both are highly affected by the vitamin D level in our body. In our teeth, we have a layer called dentin. This is where we have active cells which release immune factors and help to repair the infected teeth, especially tooth decay. Researchers found that these cells will not be able to do their job if there is not enough vitamin D present in your body. In other words, vitamin D is essential for repairing tooth decay. Most dentists also recommend having good oral hygiene in order to prevent gingivitis, a condition in which we have bleeding gums. But bleeding gums don't necessarily mean we have poor dental health. It can also mean we have an inflamed immune system. As we will find out later in this video, vitamin D is an important factor when it comes to managing our immune system. It helps control how much and which immune cells are formed. If we will make sure we have enough vitamin D, it will help our immune system repair bleeding gums. Watch until the end to find out what level of vitamin D you should aim for in order to have great dental health. Reason number 2. It helps with chronic fatigue and sleep issues. If you are deficient in vitamin D, you will probably have a hard time sleeping at night. It's because vitamin D helps the sleep center in your brain function better. If you have sleep apnea, insomnia, or just get up frequently at night, vitamin D can significantly help you. Low levels of vitamin D can also result in fatigue and generalized weakness, and many studies support this. One of them asked participants to rate their fatigue levels and found that 77% of participants with chronic fatigue were vitamin D deficient. Once their vitamin D levels were brought back to normal levels, their fatigue scores improved significantly. Reason number 3. It improves your hair health. Vitamin D also affects the amount of hair we produce. Not having enough vitamin D can cause our hair to be dry and brittle, or in some cases, even alopecia, an autoimmune disease that causes our hair to fall out. Vitamin D is one of the most important anti-inflammatories and therefore can prevent all of these from happening. Reason number 4. Improves your mood. When we don't expose ourselves to the sun enough or have a low level of vitamin D, we're more exposed to anxiety and depression. Several researchers showed that low levels of vitamin D cases were linked to depression. Another study showed that taking vitamin D supplements improved symptoms of people with high depression, which improved their overall feeling and well-being. Think about it. Why are people more depressed during the winter seasons? One of the reasons is not getting enough sun and vitamin D. But not just depression. Few more researches showed how low levels of vitamin D play the role in heightening levels of anxiety. In fact, 
One study showed that children who were vitamin D deficient experienced significantly more anxiety and stress than their peers. In this way, a lack of vitamin D and sun exposure could be seriously messing with your mental health. Reason number 5, which it is better to not ignore helps your immune system. Aside from offering amazing mental health benefits, vitamin D can also help your immune system, which we could all use to avoid wintertime colds and flus. Research says that low levels of vitamin D result in increased susceptibility to infection. So maybe, instead of increasing our vitamin C intake before holiday traveling, we'll supplement our immune system with vitamin D too. Reason number 6 is very related to number 5 and has a wonderful insight we should all know. Vitamin D prevents autoimmune diseases. The main function of the immune system is to defend our body from foreign invaders like viruses and bacteria. Sometimes our immune system attacks our own good body cells instead of viruses and bacteria. This phenomenon is called an autoimmune disease. The trigger for that could be vitamin D deficiency. Although it has many benefits, and as said before, vitamin D is an important factor in your immune response. One study showed that low vitamin D, which is below 30 nanograms per milliliter, is linked to a higher probability of infection and autoimmune diseases like Hashimoto's thyroiditis, multiple sclerosis, inflammatory bowel disease, diabetes mellitus, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus and Sjogren's diseases, and more. If you were challenged by any of these, it's recommended to have your vitamin D measured. Let's find out more about the amount of vitamin D you should have. According to researchers, you should have at least 40 nanograms per milliliter of vitamin D. Having a vitamin D lower than 30 nanograms per milliliter puts you at a major risk of developing autoimmune disease or preventing your recovery from one. In order to have a great level of vitamin D in which the body has enough to benefit from all we've mentioned so far, and especially in order to normalize your immune system, it's recommended to aim for the therapeutic range of 60 to 90 nanograms per milliliter. Now let's review the new Harvard research about vitamin D everyone should know about. There were a group of researchers from Harvard that decided to check the impact of vitamin D on the probability of developing an autoimmune disease. This long-term research followed 25,871 people for 5 years. What makes the research very reliable is the fact that it was a randomized, double-blinded, prospective placebo control trial. In this research, they checked two groups, one that took vitamin D supplements daily, 2,000 units each, and another group took a placebo pill, which was soybean oil. The results were very interesting. Let's find out why. The group of people who were on supplementation of vitamin D showed a lower case of confirmed autoimmune diseases than the group who took the placebo. In fact, this group had 39% fewer cases of autoimmune diseases. The researchers found something they didn't think of. This was related to the BMI of the subjects. For those who aren't sure what BMI is, it's the body mass index, which is a rank for our weight and height together. Link to the BMI calculator in the comments. Now let's get back to the new finding of the researchers. They found a strong correlation between BMI and the probability of the vitamin D to reduce the chance of developing an autoimmune disease. People with a BMI of 18 and below showed 53% fewer cases, while people with a BMI of 25 and below showed 31% fewer cases, and when the group of people who had a BMI of 30 showed 10% fewer cases. In other words, the higher the BMI is, the lesser vitamin D improvement they saw. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos related to vitamin D and many things you can do to have a better life. Check out this playlist of my top 10 videos of health tips and I'll see you in the next video. Take care!